Kusu Sampola, welcome to the Appropriate Dispute Resolution Clinic at Chikni Singhewanchu School of Law. In this video, we will be talking about alternative dispute resolution in Bhutan and the role Appropriate Dispute Resolution Clinic is playing in keeping it alive. In the past, when disputes arose, and if the parties are not able to come to an agreement, they would take the matter to an elder called a Koshingenshi. So Koshingenshi is a respectable elder in the community. I'll now try to provide an illustration. Say for example, there are two neighbors, where a neighbor's cow ate all the cabbages in another neighbor's garden. Now if the neighbors are not able to come to an agreement regarding the compensation amount, they would take the matter to an elder's place for a mediation. In Traditional practice of mediation, an elder would suggest a solution to which the parties would agree. In addition to elders, local leaders have also engaged in mediation and they have played a vital role in promoting peace in the communities. When the country transitioned to democracy, elected form of local government also carried forward this role. Today, the law school is also keeping this tradition of dispute resolution alive through ADR courses and a clinic specifically dedicated to ADR. At JSW School of Law, there are three clinics and one of them is the appropriate dispute resolution clinic, also in short known as the ADRC. If you are wondering what the ADR clinic is, the appropriate dispute resolution clinic is a platform that provides experiential learning by giving students the opportunity to enhance and hone their dispute resolution skills and knowledge by mediating real cases or working on projects related to ADR. What students mediate in real cases? Yes, you heard us right. The student studies mandatory course on alternative dispute resolution uh, prior to joining the clinic. Upon joining the clinic, they studies and refresh their ADR skills in three weeks intensive seminar, which is also the, the component of the course. So how do they work on real cases? The HR clinic partners with an institute or organization providing mediation services and takes part in their mediation. This year, the HR clinic has partnered with the Court Index Mediation Unit at the Family and Child Bench of Thimpo District Court in Bhutan's capital, Thimpo. At the Court Index Mediation Unit, students get the opportunity to use the skills learned in the HR courses and in the HR clinic's seminar component. The students first join with the bench clerk mediators and observe real mediation done by them. During this time, students are acquainted with the pre-mediation forms and agreement to mediate at the court annex mediation unit. The students are also acquainted to draft mediation settlement agreements. Then, clinic students take up the role of mediator where two students are paired to jointly work as co-mediators to resolve matrimonial disputes that come before the family and child bench. The students then apply the skills learned in the clinic and mediate the matrimonial disputes. Once the dispute is settled, the students draft the settlement agreement, which is then reviewed by the designated bench clerk and shown and read out to the parties. Upon the parties' confirmation on the terms and conditions, the agreement is signed by the parties and submitted to the judge for confirmation. So the focus is only on mediation, right? No, the ADR clinic also helps prepare law students to take part in more recent dispute resolution processes such as arbitration. This year, the clinic has partnered with the Bhutan Alternative Dispute Resolution Center to provide legal assistance in the amendment of their rules and regulations by doing a comparative study with some of the leading arbitration centers in the world. From this video, you must have understood about the long tradition of negotiation and mediation in Bhutan and how the law school is playing a role in keeping these traditions alive. We hope that through this video, you were also able to observe that these courses are making the practice of mediation and negotiation more inclusive for women in Bhutan. I want to reiterate that our law school ADR courses and more importantly, the ADR clinic is giving our future lawyers the opportunity to hone their skills and be confident to take part in alternative dispute resolution. 
to use amicable approaches to resolving dispute in a society that focuses on enhancing gross national happiness.